Okay, the very first thing we need is to get our our measurements right. Our waist measurements, hip measurement and length. The length you want to use for this skirt. So then we get our waistline. You just rule your waistline out. Then we get our length, the length of the skirt. The length I'm using is 22. 22 the length of the skirt but for this kind of skirt you need to double your measurement by two that's the length measurement by two which is going to be 44 why we are doing it by two is because when you fix your elastic it's going to draw up back to 22 so instead of leaving at 22 after putting your elastic to draw back to 11 then you double it by two to make it 44 if you are using a 20 if you are using 20 inches, double it to make it 40. If you are, whatever you are using, just double it. Then for our hip line, measure 10 inches down. We are using 10 because it's an high waist skirt. So measure your 10 inches down. And you roll out the dot. So now I'm going to take the extension. That's like the material that's that drops down so for, you can use four inches five inches six seven eight nine ten any amount of inches you need to use you can use it but for this tutorial i'll be using six inches just six so just divide your measurements by four as usual then add your whatever amount of inches you want to use i'm using six for this tutorial so 45 inches divided by four that's 11.5 plus six inches that would be 17.5 so i just marked my um hip, my hip measurements plus the six inches then mark your waist measurements that's it according to my tutorial plus your six inches then you rule it out so for this um tutorial for this kind of skirt rather you are only adding allowance to the hip not the waist the waist you might be wondering okay what if i have an adjustment to make on the waist what if it's too big or too small then you can adjust it from the zip allowance at the back but do not add measurements so you do not add allowance to the to the waist so you rule them out you only add one inch allowance to the hip line so do the same thing for your m then add your six your six inches allowance so whatever seven eight nine ten inches you are using then connect them From down straight don't make your hip so sharp just connect it after taking out all our measurements then we cut out from the waist down to the end just cut it up please don't forget to notch that waistline the original one not the six inches the so i just place the front piece on the back piece then cut it up please do not forget your zip allowance don't forget your zip allowance Oh, notching original waistline then notch out the zip allowance up and down then you separate your zip allowance divide into two then now we mark out the measurements for fixing our zip please don't forget to calculate with your band 1.5 inch band, 2 inches, 3 in, 2 inches, 2.5. Mark out the measurements for fixing the zip. Then you sew down the rest. You can use pin to the side you are not sewing. Now just pick your piece from the point that we not. That's the original waistline. Sew the M round from the left to the right. All round. Do the same thing on the front piece. The only part you are omitting is just the waistline. So the rest. So now we we'll just place the front piece on the back piece on the right side, not on the wrong side, on the right side of the fabric. So now I want to do the elastic casing on the right side. So I have to record this off camera. This is the elastic casing. So the notched part I took the other time on the waistline, just stick it then you're 10 inches down for the hip line, the same thing. We can't just fold this over like we do for a normal skirt because this is the butterfly rush skirt. Because of that dangling material down. 
so we'll just take your 10 inches left and right mark it then trace down side too so this might look complicated but it is not actually just get your midpoint you can use the um, back part that's the zip allowance part to so get the midpoint then you measure your hip measurement divided by four not by two by four let's say for example your hip measurement is 40 divided by four that's 10 so from that midpoint you measure 10 to the left 10 to the right for this tutorial i'm using the 45 inches measurement for the hips divided by four that's 11.25 so I'm taking 11.25 to the left, 11.25 to the right from the midpoint. You can use your, your zip allowance to get the midpoint. From the mid from, from the midpoint, you take 11.25 to the left, 11.25 to the right of that 10 inches you marked the other time. So you take it. And then the elastic case, and I'm using an elastic of 0 0.5 inches. So you just get your 0 0.5 at the, at the edge too. Then trace it down. That is your elastic casing. Do the same thing all the way down, left and right. Then you sew it, the chalked part. So just bring out your elastic, fold it like three times or two times. Put it back in that hole. Please don't let go. Just put it back in that hole neatly then you sew on it and just sew on the head please don't let the elastic show outside just sew on it